Hi guys, I'm David and this is Jeanette. Together we are Low Range 4x4 Adventures. For the last few years we have been doing some epic trips to amazing locations across Australia. Subscribe and like our videos and hit the notification bell to join us on our adventures. You can also find us on Facebook and Instagram. Good morning everyone welcome back to the channel so this week we received a package in the mail from Razorback 4x4 which we have eagerly been awaiting so yeah so these um, guys have we've uh, sort of had a, a bit of a chat with them and formed a, a collaboration they've looked after us a little bit with these and um, what we've got is a custom made set of seat covers for the front of our Colorado with our logo custom embroidered and etc. So this is their premium range of, of seat covers. So let's open it up and have a look. Yeah. We've been waiting for good. days. Where's your knife? I don't know. Oh, here you go. Everyone's got a knife. <laughs> it's really nicely packaged, hey? It looks yeah, beautiful. Yeah, good packaging. So we've got these. This is the boxing, obviously. Hang on, one, two, three, ta da! Oh, I think I don't think that's the right color. It's um in a plastic bag. No, I was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I think the humor is so wasteful today. It is. So, that is a great box. It is we'll be a great keeping box. that. I'm sure we can pack something into that. So. All right, so. Well, oh, these are really well set up. So we've got the, um, this is the the cover that goes on the armrest on your center console. So we've got that. And this is really well packaged. It's got a zippy up bag and everything. As you can see, our logo on there, which looks awesome when you first open the package up. So we'll just pull one out so you can have a bit of a look, guys. So. Our logo there, and uh, yeah, so it's black with charcoal stitching. All so these are actually the premium version of the Razorback 4x4 seat covers. They look absolutely amazing. The quality it mm. feels so good. Um, so I'm actually off to work. I have two days' work left in Cloncurry. Dave has finished his contract. So he can fit these up today. In the, over the next couple of days, we'll be packing up, trying to get all our crap back in the camper trailer and the car. I think we might be donating a bit of stuff around the place. Yep. And um, we will be on the road and uh, yeah, actually getting to do some traveling and some touristy stuff now, yeah, which so is really exciting. We've got some good mm. videos planned. Um, we're heading back towards the East Coast uh through winton longreach and all that sort of stuff so we'll yeah. be doing all those all those places that we flew through on, on the, the way, way up here, here because <laughs> we had to be in the curry in a hurry we're now going to go back down take a bit of time and we're actually going to head to Mackay because we um, have a few things to do there so that's that's the plan at the moment then um yeah okay well all right. sounds yeah. good you can fit them up. Sounds good. All right. right. Okay, I'm off to work. See you guys. Okay, guys. So Jeanette's gone off to work, and uh, I finally got some of my chores done. So now I'm going to get into going through these seat covers with you and doing an install in the car. These are our new Razorback 4x4 neoprene premium seat cover set with custom embroidery. Our logo embroidered which we're very happy with. They did a great job. Uh, in the package came our two, two seat covers, also headrest covers. 
We had a nice little sticker and a thank you card from the guys. And also we got the center console cover. So the neoprene seat covers are waterproof and they full cover the seat front and back right round the bottoms underneath your plastic trims. You also get a detailed set of instructions in your packaging, which is good. It goes through your um, fitting instructions gives you an idea how to go about it basically with the neoprene seat covers you turn them inside out and you roll them onto the seat uh, just to make it a bit easier and then all the the base of the seat you put the seat cover in around in between the seat and the plastic trims very carefully don't use any sharp implements and all that sort of stuff and the um and the headrest also you just you know put the cover over that and velcro it in place and stick it back into the top of the seat so we might get into that now go out to the car and uh, get organized to put these new seat covers on oh another point too also is the seat covers are a driver side and a passenger side set so you need to make sure you've got the seat covers on the correct sides and you can identify them by the tag which is inside the seat the care tag which is inside the seat um, base and on that it will actually tell you which side the seats for ie this one's for the driver's side sorry about it being upside down okay guys so you guys are familiar with our our touring rig done a rig rundown recently on that if you want to have a look at that just look through our youtube channel and check out the rig and what we've actually done with it but today's mission is put the seat covers on so we'll get that sorted out get some cameras set up so that you can see what we're doing okay guys so i'm going to start with the driver side so i think it'll be a little bit more difficult initially due to the storage cabinets in behind that seat so we'll get into that one now and uh hopefully i've got enough cameras on it so you can see what i'm doing Slide the headrest out and just pop him over there. I'm gonna get the seat into a position where I can actually get the seat cover on it and get around it. So it says to well, put them inside out the neoprene ones. So I'll follow the instructions for the boys so they know I'm doing it right. They're basically turning that inside out. And we're going to roll the seat cover on to the seat. So, which try and line up the <coughs> the actual headrest holes so it's in the right spot. You can see uh, they have got a, a, you know, a, a small hole and the idea is to get it stretched around the plastic fittings for the headrest. You just use your fingers and pop it in and out pretty easily, like so. Um, obviously if you've got anything in the in the rear seat pocket in your seats make sure you pop that out because the uh, seat covers cover the whole back of the seat and they um they have their own pocket built into them so that's pretty much lined up pretty nicely now give it a bit of a pull down and once you've got the the seat back in place then you can put the seat back a bit and do the base so you just open the velcro up um, and just slide the, the seat covers around the seat just work them on 
so they fit in the right spot and sit around the contours of the seat. So you can see with the sides here, you need to actually work this down. Just move the plastic out and just work this down so it fits nice in that, which I'm going to do now. And just get it all sitting nice so that we can then push the back of the seat through and, and strap it all up with its Velcros. So I've just finished putting the seat cover on the driver's seat. We basically, um, you get the, the back on, roll it on as shown, line everything up, put the base on. You've got a couple of Velcro straps which you pull through and do up themselves. A lot of seats have a nice little piece underneath the back and then the back of the seat cover Velcro to so that. So I'm just putting the headrest cover on now. Um, it's quite a tight fit. So you just got to just work it on slowly. Okay, so that's the finished product. As you can see, a bit of a bit of a struggle getting it on, but. You want it nice and tight, nice and comfy. So I'll just wild this, roll this forward a bit so I can get the seat cover back on, or the headrest back in. That's our headrest on, seat covers on and done. Look pretty sweet, guys. Very, very happy. Thank you, Razorback 4x4. Seat covers are absolutely beautiful. So I'm gonna do the passenger side one now and I'll show you the uh, detail at the back where you connect it all up on the back of that while, we're, um, while I'm doing that one. So I'm just starting on the passenger side seat now. Same process, take the headrest out, put it aside until you're uh, ready to put the top on it, which is good fun. Get the seat cover inside out, roll it on the back, put it in the, and then put the base on, Velcro everything. I'll show you that detail in, in the back of this seat as we do that. You can see in the back of this seat, between the, the base, the back of the seat and the base of the seat, there's this section here, which actually has a rod in it that goes between the seat base and the seat back and um, connects down to like it's held in place with this velcro straps which are what hold the base in so you can see this bar here I was talking about before so just unvelcro these which are the straps that go underneath this the base part of the seat cover and then you can just work this bar in along with getting the seat cover lined up properly sitting in the right spot so I'm just fitting the the base of the seat on now roughly just get it in, a, in roughly in the right spot so then I can work on this getting this bar through between the back and the base of the seat Just spend a bit of time just fiddling around and getting the actual seat cover to sit nicely in, in its correct position, and it'll 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 sit nice and comfortably. Now we just got these two Velcro straps here that come from the front. Just feed them underneath along the base of the seat and bring them around the back, and then they connect up. The two Velcro straps that come through from the base, which are just here. One here, and another one over here. They like sticking to everything being Velcro. We'll just get them in place now.
Okay, so passenger seat done. Just got to put the headrest cover on. So I'll just show you the back of the seat now. So basically we've got everything set in the right spot. This is the um, the original seat. So that cover goes back up under there and clips back in place. This has got a couple of Velcros here. So you just peel off the material they've put in there to protect the Velcro. Velcro it to the seat and that holds it in place. So we're pretty much done. Just got to get the headrest done and put the centre console cover on and I'll give you a look at the finished product. Hey guys, well, there's the finished product. I reckon they look pretty sweet. Very happy with the quality. We'll do a, uh, a little review six months down the track and let you all know how they're going then. Last thing to do is put the uh, center console cover on and we're done okay so we're just going to pop the center console cover on now it uh, looks like the best way to do it would be just pop the uh, front edge over the cover first maybe lift it up and just slip it over the front so it's kind of sitting in the right spot and then just clip it down and stretch it back over the back just so it sort of goes over that back corners and sits over the back corners nicely should stay in place pretty good so so there you go guys that's it the finished product Thanks Razorback 4x4, pretty stoked, things look awesome, and, uh, we'll give them a workout. Hey guys, well that's a wrap on another gear spotlight. Thank you very much to Razorback 4x4 for, for working with us and supporting us and spending the time to do these custom seat covers for us. We really appreciate the effort you put in. Also, all you guys who are watching our content, Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, ding the notification bell, and throw us a thumbs up. We really appreciate that as well. We'll catch you on the next episode, guys.